we leave North Lafroy, we make our way to Exmouth, where we have an unreal time. Woohoo! It's moving day, mate. So pumped for today. We are heading to Exmouth. There's about three ways we can do this. We can head back south and come the way we come and get back on the freeway and go up. Or we're going to head north and apparently before Yardi, you can do a right and go over and get to Exmouth that way. Or plan C is cross Yardi Creek and head up and what? Well, plan C. Plan C. <laughs> is that C? Which way is it? I don't even know. <laughs> is you can head um, over Yardi Creek there and do the road all the way up and around on the top of the peninsula back down to Exmouth. We've got no idea which way we're going. And that's what makes it part of the journey for us, having no idea. Hey. Mm -hmm. She's a woman of many words. I don't get a hey. chance to talk anymore. It used to be me doing all the speaking, and now I just sit here and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's because I'm so freaking pumped all the time. That's He's why. just excited to get to Exmouth because he can wash everything. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. I can finally wash and get the salt off everything. Uh, we've been on the beach for, you know, a while now, and... Yeah, everything just gets sandy and dirty and salty and... It's been a lot of days and we've actually still got a lot of water left, which is really cool. Yeah, it has. It's been nearly nine days and we've still had, what, 180 odd litres? Plus to... what's in the truck. Let's go! Let's get out of here, come on! Okay, so I've just had a little bit of inside information. Um, there's actually only two ways to get back to Exmouth. There's south the way which we came from and then there's north across Yardy Creek. Um, 24 k's you get to Yardy Creek then once you're over that you're back onto bitumen and do the whole run around the Cape and and back down to Exmouth I think that's the way we're gonna go they do he did say it was a little bit pinstripe it gets a little bit tight tight towards the end about three or four k's before Yardy Creek itself but he said it's not too bad at all so if we take it really easy and push some bushes if we need to um, we'll be totally fine so that's the way we're going we're going north it's a new day. into Iowa and just sped it ever so slightly and we just creeped along and got out of it but man that was boggy as took a lot less time than deflating oh, hang on. the tire. are they still moving um if you, i can't tell no i think they stopped you're gonna go see if they need help yeah are they stuck i can't see yeah they look stuck <laughs> oh no are you guys right back there They are not on channel. Baby, yoop, to the rescue. What I think is kind of funny is that he's run all the way down there to rescue them with no recovery gear. I think those guys might have some recovery gear, but there is another van over there. So now we're blocking, <laughs> blocking the track both ways. Bit of a rescue team getting together here. Hey, it's Tay and Harry to the rescue. Can I catch a lift? Yeah, absolutely. I'll just, I'll just jump on here. Have you got a grab hat? You do. Yeah. Rightio. All the roof rack on top. Let's ride. Oh yeah. Perfect. Let's ride, my friends. Let's go. <laughs> it's much quicker than walking. Well, that was a bit of excitement. No one really minds getting bogged because we all say that's what creates the memories. Where would the memories be if someone didn't get stuck? <laughs> A bit of a traffic jam on this um yeah. on this track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
edges. <laughs> So we have made it to the entrance of Cape Range National Park. We're getting closer and closer and closer to Exmouth and the whole Top End Peninsula. There's an information board, do you want to read it? Are you going to say something? Oh, there's plenty of information boards here. Welcome to Cape Range National Park. There are... Park Pass, yeah. Day okay. entry and camping fees that you can see over here. So part of our WA um, National Parks Pass, I'm pretty sure we don't need to pay. You can explain all that misinformation, girl. So we have a National Parks Pass for WA, which includes nearly all of the national parks. Not all of them though, there are a few that are excluded. So Cape Range National Park, day entry, camping fees, visitor fees apply, $15 per private vehicle, 12 people, $8 for concession. Is that you, because you're old? Do you have an old person's concession? <laughs> um, She's so funny. If you already hold a park pass, you do not need to buy a day entry pass, but must display your current park pass and pay camping fees. Yep, ours is displayed on the dash, isn't ours it? Ours is displayed on the dash. All right, let's keep going. Let's get to Yardie, hey? Okie dokie. Oh, and just a heads up on that track from Winnabandy up to here. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, there was a little boggy section uh, that I was a little concerned about, but we just, uh, just flicked her in low and just sort of crawled out of it. The van and Ranger behind us did get stuck, but it was a simple little... Um, yeah, a couple of max tracks, bit of tire pressures down, and it was good as gold. But if you see those little sections, just give it a tiny bit of momentum, and you'll pull out of it, no worries. So anyway, let's get to get the arty. crossing it was treacherous wasn't it treacherous uh, we are now back on the black top um, steering up road pressures and let's get to Exmouth hey we've already seen a bit of a crew here so I think we've organized a night at the whalebone tomorrow night so your drought will be broken my drought will finally be broken well I don't know yet I'm gonna no I probably will. <laughs> I'm not gonna kid myself hey but that track wasn't that bad at all pretty easy we're lucky Yardy Creek wasn't flowing so it was an easy crossing um, but I think at times, <laughs> I think at times it does get uh, a little bit wet there, but no, it was easy. Not bad at all. Bye! There's the crew. <laughs> so we'll air up. We'll be, yeah, I'll be about an hour here airing up all late tires, <laughs> but, and then let's um, get going. Exmouth, here we come. Oh, we're staying at the RAC as well in town. I think that's a good central caravan park. Um, yeah, so we can explore, um, fuel up water up and then get ready for our next spot so yep so that'll give you a bit of an idea most of those are just dust a few scratches nothing terrible so while Chris airs up I am going to jump into the van and make sure everything in there is a okay checked in the van happy to report nothing fell off nothing broke um, everything is perfect
actually have some exciting things planned. We're catching up with our friends Derek and Jade, Lap in the Island, and we're going out fishing in their boat. Um, I was messaging with Jade, and I know nothing about boats, and she actually said to me, um, you know, bring food, wear your old swimmers, so I've got my old swimmers on, and um, don't pack bananas. I was like, what? I had no idea that bananas bring bad luck on boats, so I guess I have got a lot to learn. That's what we're doing today. We are going out in the boat with Derek and Jade, so that's going to be a bit of fun. Uh, yesterday was pretty cruisy. We went into town. Chris got a haircut. We had a bit of a look around, had lunch at the bakery. And then last night we went back to Whalebone to celebrate um, one of our friends that we've met traveling whose birthday is on Thursday. So we celebrated early because they're all heading off soon. So yeah, our time in Exmouth has been great. We haven't done a whole lot of like water stuff yet. That's about to change today. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. So you coming fishing? <laughs> Can I let it ink you? She's like, oh yeah, ink me all over my oh, white shirt. Oh, look at that hood! Hello, yeah, here baby. we go. Oh, yep, Come ink on. it in the water. Hey, Lani. Oh, Lani, what's on? There we go. It's a babe. It's really big. It's just a stonker. It's going to get me again, I know it. Look at that, babe. That's um, that was worth it. That was worth all it. That's the, it's still going. You let go. Mate, that got me all way over. I got it in my mouth. I got it. Oh, that's all over. Hello. Hello. Oh, well done. Look at mum. <laughs> I'm gonna have to jump in for that. <laughs> I got it. You got it all over you too. You got it. <laughs> Look at my legs. That is a horse, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this well. is what I do. Ready? No. <laughs> I am fire. Here we go. Time, Chris. So what, Sweet! What you normally do is keep them in the water, yeah, yeah. grab them around the neck, and then, <laughs> and then do that. Yeah, sick. <laughs> was that on purpose? <laughs> sure, it was. So you grab them in the water then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then okay. Yeah, right, but that's okay. boring. I quite like the ink show. That's boring. <laughs> that was not supposed to be. Oh, one. one tentacle. Oh, wait. Oh, go away, you're squirting right at me. <laughs> <laughs> close up for you. Wait, 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 wait. Don't point it at me. It's like you're milking it. Can you put ink out? Christopher is on. That's got a lot of ink. Yeah, that's got a. Yeah. Do you want me to get you, babe? No. Why not? <laughs> Ready for you. Yes, right. <laughs> Here you go, mate. Yeah, blah, blah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Huh? ridiculous hour. Dark. We got up at dark, yes, <laughs> to come to this amazing place yep. and um, to check it out for, for ourselves, but also to show you. Yeah, this is a stunning place. This has been on the bucket list for a long time. Um, 
I don't think we should talk anymore. I reckon we should just show up. Hey? What do you think? Absolutely. All right, check this out. We can play our favorite song, dance into it all night long. With you, I feel. With you, I feel something. Cause we're both so unashamed. And mate, this place has delivered. It is literally stunning, especially on a sunrise. Hey? Absolutely. I think you guys should drop us a comment below. Let us <laughs> what you think of this gorge, having seen our content. Um, if yeah. you've been here, let us know what your experience was. Some people have come here at sunset. Yeah. Um, some people come at sunrise. And I would also like to know, what's your favorite gorge? It can be anywhere in the world. Um, obviously Australia would, would be handy because if we haven't been there we would like to go so drop us a comment let us know what you think of this one and what is your favorite gorge yeah um, when you're saying about sunrise or sunset I think sunrise is the banger because it predominantly looks over the northern northern no eastern <laughs> So I don't it, even know we sunrise well it's, we're looking directly where the sun rises which is on the east <laughs> yes it's on the east so but, faces that's weird because the, the, there, thinking... there are lookouts on that side of the road as well. So possibly the sunset would be you go to the other side. Yeah, probably over that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. stunning. Alrighty. Yeah. Adios. Rightio, today's mission. We are at Yardi Creek. We're going to um, do the hike all the way up to the creek. I think it's about a 3K walk, is it? About a 3K return or something? Um, I think it's. Two K's, two K's, three K's, I don't know, whatever it is. Two hours, I think. Yeah, whatever it is, it There's is. Two. There are two walks. Oh, there's a two walks. A shorter there? one and a longer one. Okay, cool. So that's and it. you need sunscreen for both, so that's I what don't, I'm doing. I don't know much, do I? But, <laughs> mate, we are so glad to be out and about. Like, we've been locked in the van for three days with crappy weather in Exmouth. Um, we're not going to whinge, though. It's been meant. Like, the weather's been amazing the last probably two or three months. It's been stunning. So it was actually a bit of a blessing in disguise. We've actually been able to sit down and get a little bit of work done, um... And not go exploring so but man it feels good to get back out and actually doing some stuff so we've left at about 7 30 this morning from exmouth it's about an hour and a half run all the way back up and around into cape range i've just got something behind me do you see that bird it's in the, it's in the <laughs> Oh, you are a bit of a uh, a bit of a galah. But yeah, um, I don't even know what I was on about. This friggin' bird just interrupted me, so I, I don't know what I was you know doing. What? what? It's been bad weather in, in Exmouth, <laughs> but that means whalebone for someone. Oh. So we actually let... went to the whalebone three times. Look at him shaking his head. He's sworn off alcohol for the rest of his so, life. <laughs> so yeah, if everyone didn't know, I'd been off, off the piss for like seven weeks and I was starting to feel amazing. The cloudiness was gone. Not that I'm a huge drinker, but I was drinking, you know. And he lost a lot of his beer belly too. And I lost a lot of my beer belly, <laughs> but I think I put it back on because of bloody whalebone. So the first night we went with a heap of um, travellers and then the second time we went was with... 
he tells a lie. The first I, time we went, it was just you and me together because you really wanted. Oh, to that was it. Literally, like the first hour when we got to Xmouth. So that was um, that was no one's fault but my own. Second time was with a big group of followers, and then the third time was with friggin' Jerick and and Jerick, uh, Jerick, <laughs> Derek Jer- and Jade from Lap in the Island, mate. They are a bloody bad influence, them too. I tell you what. Derek still had a hangover two days later. <laughs> he was still in bed. It was an epic night. But Jade we... and I left them there and went to the night markets. Yeah. And had a great time and came back and was slurring and words well, was what, going. What do you going think going is going to happen, mate? Like, <laughs> literally, you leave two grown men at a pub. What What do you think is going to happen? They needed supervision, clearly. Oh, man. But that's where we saw Ben Jans play as well. Yeah, Ben Jans, mate, literally blown away with his music. He is that good. He's it's... a one-man oh. band. He plays the drums with his feet. He plays yeah. the didgeridoo. He does this little shaky thing. He plays the guitar. He plays it all. At the same time, he was singing la la and do 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 doing. I do not know how. I don't know how he does it either. We'll leave a little. Um, blown away. We'll leave a little thing down the bottom of his name and where to find him, man, on on Apple Music and Spotify and all that sort of stuff. So you good. must listen to it. it- Shoes, like, we all know he doesn't wear shoes. I've These are my, my shoes. My, <laughs> I cut it up enough. <laughs> Dusty Bonston boots on. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get some shoes. I'm gonna go hiking. Oh, so here we go. So I, haven't I, even got five meters, mate. You found an information yeah, board. Yeah, eh? I was right. It's two kilometers, allow two hours. It so, is two kilometers. Yeah, two kilometers, allow two hours. Moderately difficult trail includes Yardi Trick Nature, Yardi Nature Walk, and takes you high above Yardi Creek with views over Ningaloo Reef. And then the smaller one is 1.2, allow 40 minutes. A gentle, well-defined path. So I think this is what you would do if you had young children. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think any of them are really hard. So you can see here. So we're down here, and we're going to run all the way up to the top up there. So. Yeah. And Yardi Creek is the creek that we crossed when we came from this way, from um, South Lafroy, Winnebany, all those campsites are down that way, so you can literally cross it here. But but let me let you in a little bit of information right here. This whole section here is tight. It's very very tight. So you may get a few scratches on we the did van. We get hey? a few pinstripes. Yeah, yes. but nothing that we can't. Nothing fix, that Chris so can't buff easy. out. Easy, <laughs> easy. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Alrighty. So to the left, we have a picnic area, and down this way, you can actually do a boat cruise. Boat actually, is it to the left or is it to the right? Well, left, right, <laughs> right, left. <laughs> Take your pick. Random information, yeah, they've got boat cruises that run up Yardy Creek as well. So if you 
If you're into your boat, eh? If you don't have your own, you can use someone else's. Oh, who's going to have a new boat soon? Oh, shh. <laughs> it's the world's worst kept secret. I was talking about the crossing of Yardi Creek from Winnebandy and North Lafroy and South Lafroy and the whole Ningaloo section of camping. Um, every now and then, depending on tides and all that type of stuff, that this uh, opens up and becomes a bit of a water crossing. Um, at the moment, it's completely dry and a, and a clean run across the creek to um, get over to the other side, to hit the bitumen side and run all the way back around to Exmouth. But just keep an eye on that. Just just watch it, get a bit of information from locals or people who have done that sort of section, um, just to make sure you, can, you guys can get across. And if it is running through, you definitely need to check your tides so, um, to make sure you can get across it. So don't go hitting it in a high tide because yeah, you might be doing a little bit more water crossing than you would like to. Look at that, eh? We haven't even got like 300 meters. Look how beautiful it is already. <laughs> I'm already taking photos. Oh, are you? Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, it is, hey? Look at that. Yeah, we've done 300 meters. It's stunning already. <laughs> Both directions, too. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, oh, look, can you see what I see in the distance? What? An information board. Uh, <laughs> right there. Oh, you look very close, hey? Stop with your close. <laughs> You don't look that bad when you're close. Oh, oh yeah, I can see me. Look. Can you see Stay you? there. Stay there. Hey, he's going. <laughs> Jackers. <laughs> Glad oh. my, my, my glasses are useful to you as well. If you find a flanny, don't take it. It's Chris's. <laughs> what do you reckon? Hopefully no one steals it. Do you reckon it'll be gone when we get back? Hopefully no one steals it. Huh? Hopefully no one steals it. Surely someone's not going to steal a flanny, are they? Mm. It's all about the respect, mate. It's oh. it's respect of fellow flanny wearers, mate. So. Or it could be, hey, I'm a flanny wearer and I like this flanny. <laughs> oh yeah, what do you got for us now? Well, there's information that's important, but this bit here says, for millions of years, the area you were standing on was deep below the surface of the ocean. Over the years, shells of microscopic marine organisms accumulated on the seafloor and became sedentary rock. So it says Cape Range occupies an important place in the history of human coastal occupation in Australia. Not only does Cape Range tell a story of geological history, but also holds evidence of first Australians living on country. So there's middens, rock shelters and fish traps preserved in the landscape around here. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it says... Um, this shows the continual connection traditional owners have with the Ningaloo country spanning 30,000 to 50,000 years. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? So, yeah, today Yardi Creek is the only permanent water source in the range, fed with fresh, fresh water from within the cart system, deep within the range, and salt water from the ocean when the sandbar breaks through. Yeah, right. So this is the end of the short walk. It's actually really short. I did think it was 1.5 kilometres, but that, I think, is return. So there's a little fork in the road there where we turn up and continue on. So we're going to go down and do that now. <laughs> So this is the fork in the uh, track now, so we're going to go up the Yardi Gorge Trail. So um, yeah, when, you'll see as you get towards the end there, you just do a left and it sort of goes off the track and sort of up that way. This is also where you park your prams if you want to continue on and have kids in tow, you got to carry them. Oh, we literally don't get far at all before we go off the track and just go to another little lookout. Look at that. And just across from us on the other side of the creek up on the cliff, there's little like wallabies, like little rock wallabies. We've just... seen birds floating around everywhere, yeah. little rock wallabies, and they said you can see fish jumping out of the creek. And I think I've seen a couple, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah. So that's what I'm aiming to spot now. I'll tell you what, this would be epic in summer because you could literally leap off these cliffs into the water. I don't know if you're allowed to, but definitely looks like it, it looks know? like a mint spot to swim especially if you've been in the ocean like snorkeling the whole time come back to here because this is fresh water anyway so you could have a little bath a little rubby tub tub what do you reckon yeah so bring your swimmers and also <laughs> the reason you need to wear good shoes check yeah out, check out what we're walking on it's like that kind yeah of look at that volcanic um kind of rock yeah. that we've seen in a lot of places like this you really do not want to be doing that in thongs or bare feet no the pluggers <laughs> definitely won't get you far around here or well, they probably would you'd have a few blowouts though so you'd cut your I, feet um, a bit if you went barefoot <laughs> yeah i normally wear thongs everywhere but i'm glad i did this time hey i was hoping you would stay but i've 
always know that you would go and find your own way I still see when we climbed up in those trees 12 years The track ago. is pretty well marked, it's pretty well worn in but if you're not quite sure you've got these white posts which are dotted all the way along so if you look like you're getting a little bit lost just look for find that next post and sort of head towards that and it's um i'm gonna say they're guide posts but they're also for pole dancing they are definitely not for pole dancing i think you would fall over if you swung off this <laughs> right Trial. I'm actually yeah. surprised that we're here, but I checked my watch and it did take us 60 minutes with all the stopping and filming that we did. Yeah. So 40 minutes each way, I'd say, is, is pretty fair. Yeah, 40 minutes each way. It's <laughs> beautiful. Like the water is stunning, the cliffs, the colours, mate. And right behind us, you literally got the whole Ningaloo Reef. You can see it is. The reef. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. There's heaps of wildlife, heaps of birds, heaps of um, rock wallabies everywhere. Don't miss this place. Hey, come and check it out. Or maybe do a boat cruise up. They'll probably give you a lot of information. Um, I or think get a guide, a, maybe. I think or... there's some people with a guide down there because he was saying a lot of No, they're actually over there hiking. Oh, so okay. they must be doing a big walk <laughs> up the Cape Range or something. Yeah, they so... got out of the car and they had on like all their hiking gear and their yeah. backpacks and the whole like long sleeve, big hats and everything. So And they are just over there. Yep. So I'm assuming there are plenty of different things you can do guided in this area. Yeah, but it's stunning. Un unguided, you can follow our advice. We've shown you where the pram parking is, the short trail, the long trail, and the uh, the, the appropriate footwear. The appropriate footwear. You know, like we're a we're a bag of knowledge, mate, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. The only tour guides you'll ever need. <laughs> <laughs> Dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little Pulled in at the Oyster Stacks And it's absolutely packed Clearly the right time to do this shopping You waited your whole life Your days turn into nights now let the river flow Deep into the ocean all the time you go You are moving with emotion Let the river flow Can you hear it whisper? It goes by so slow Like a song. Well, we've just stopped off at the information centre Gonna take you inside and give you a little look How dare you run a little faster One step, you are on your way This is the old Norwegian whaling station where we were, what, a couple of weeks ago Look at this Exactly the information my brain needed to process 
what we were seeing out there. Wow. Again, really cool, really, really sad, but it's history. So we've just pulled up to Mirroring, Mirroring uh, Discovery Centre or Information Centre, whatever it is. It's just opposite the, um, the Yardie Homestead there. It's not really my thing, I'm not into all this information, but I did have a five minute little walk around in there. And there was actually a heap of information on the old Norwegian whaling station that we um, that we explored a, a week ago. So very cool. So Miriam's in her flora in there, she's having a blast. I don't know much about the area, drop in and have a look. Like the information centers are the go-to. How do you reckon you pronounce that? Well, going that Wururura is pronounced Wara, <laughs> that could be Moo. I don't know. It's actually, um, I was just saying that it's not really my sort of thing, the information, but there was actually some really cool information in there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was all the pictures of the old Norwegian whaling station, or the yeah. whaling station at Norwegian Bay. Um, and I, that's what I needed to see to piece together what we were seeing when we were there. Yeah. So for me, that was really, really interesting. They had information about the, the reef, um, snorkeling the history of the area what you can do when you're in the area uh, there's actually a dump point over there you can get pies inside there's really nice jewelry which I may have spent too long looking at but didn't purchase any purchase anything you'll be happy to know oh yes I'm very happy <laughs> but it's actually really cool isn't there's it? a little really cool play table in there for the kids to color in and draw and um, she was actually the lady at reception was talking to someone about not showing up for their booking so I would guess that they take bookings for oh certain. they actually do that's a place where you can come to cancel your bookings as well if yeah. you want to She's or make like, oh you haven't so. shown up yet please let us know if you're on your way so I guess they yeah they, yeah. they do that there too so yeah it's actually well worth um, yeah. popping in and having a look I'll spell it anyway mill your ring mill your ring mm. smell your ring <laughs> <laughs> New pronunciation. Here, take the camera, mate. Here. Here. <laughs> take it. I'm driving here. I'm going to the dump point. <laughs> oh, to smell your ring. <laughs> to take photos for Campedia. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> to smell you. How'd your ring smell? <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, are you just loading that into Campedia? Yes, I'm just loading that into Campedia. Oh, there you go, mate. So that if you need to know where there are dump points in the area when you're passing through, you can open up Campedia and it will tell you there's one at Smell Your Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Important information if you are heading down the long stretch of road from... Did you get that from the information centre though? No, I actually, <laughs> when we drove through the first time, so when you come through the Yardie Creek crossing and you go all the way to, where are we, Exmouth? Yeah. Um, the whole drive, there are little campsites and little spots so you can stop at, some you can camp at, all the way dotted along. Uh, dotted yeah. along. Um, they have little signs on the side of the road saying campground or good for snorkeling. There's actually down this road right here, there are two campgrounds down that way. Yeah. And I just found that out because there's a picture of two tents pointing that oh, way. Okay. So lots to stop at and see and places to camp at on this one little stretch of road. But what's the hot tip for this time of the year? The hot, hot tip, tip is to have booked six months in advance previously. Yeah. So hopefully <laughs> that you've done your work before getting here because currently it is completely booked out. And someone actually sent me a message yesterday, um, which probably has something to do with it. And they are coming here for, I think a month and they have booked three spots. So they've booked a campground along this road for the whole month. They've booked the campground that the caravan park we are in, the RAC one. And they've also booked Ningaloo all three spots for all four weeks just in case the weather's bad and they want to bounce between so, so really book in advance that's not very cool i don't cause... think that's very cool at all don't no. do that but i'm just saying some people do do that so for one person that's three spots gone for an entire month yeah. um so yeah really book, really book ahead when you come here right <laughs> Finished? I finished now. Okay, bye. So we've just pulled up to one of the pretty much the last beaches north before you head around the point to um, head back towards X Exmouth. Now this beach, we've come here for a couple of reasons. Number one is the name of the beach. So this place is called Mauritius Beach. My entire family is from Mauritius. It's a tiny little tropical island um, near Madagascar well, pretty much in between Australia and and South Africa so if you don't know Mauritius Google it it's literally about 26 miles in diameter and reason number two why we have pulled in here is it is a um, new to speak so and we don't like clothes so um bye bye see you
Okay, our last little stop on the way back to Exmouth, or maybe it won't be. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it won't be, but we're at the lighthouse. Um, yeah, if you head back around, you'll see the lighthouse up at the point there. Head up to the top there, there's bags of information up there about... It's more than just a lighthouse. Yeah, it's actually it is, a it? whole section with a whole bunch of information boards, heaps of them, yeah. um, about the area, the history, um, oil, the Mildura wreck. I had no yeah. idea the, the, the captain was actually charged and lost his license for, <laughs> for three months or something. So there's, there's was he drink Was he drink shipping? Oh, neglect or something. Neglect, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and everyone was rescued, no one died, but they set the fire. 500 cattle to swim to shore and they nearly all drowned so that's yeah. a little bit sad um, just behind us here there's also the huge antennas um, if you do come that's here, really cool have a look at the antennas on like google Maps yeah google earth from, from yeah. a satellite they're in a really cool shape and the, the reason why they're here yeah. is all on the information board out there so like the us and australia got together and tried to fill a gap that they had in the communication system so it's actually cool because it's still being used today and how long ago was it built a long oh, time ago. long long time ago so freaking cool apparently it's ultra low frequency or something yeah, yeah. but yeah. do yourself a favor if you haven't been up this way jump on google earth and go to Exmouth and head up to the point um and you'll see what i mean it's like a diamond sort of shape and they're huge antennas i think the middle one is 300 or nearly 400 meters high or something yeah. so pretty random huge amounts of concrete sunk in the ground to yeah for the foundations but yeah, yeah. it's there's, there's a lot of information about a lot of stuff up here yeah. just it's cool it's cool you know knowing about the, the area and, and what's about so and a bit of the history of the place so <laughs> That time again. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, but it's time to announce the winner of the uh, survival first aid. Hey, what do you reckon? Survival first aid winner. Yes. Thank you so much for watching the video. Another long one. Yep. <laughs> so as you would know by now, if you comment on our videos, let us know your favourite part of the video. We randomly select comments. Well, not randomly. We select comments that the best we like. Comment. The, the best, best comment. The best comment. And that person will win a fifty dollar voucher yep. to spend on Survival First Aid Kits website. And at the end of the month, we select someone to win a two hundred and fifty dollar um, outdoor bundle. So really cool kit. Um, two kits in that one. We've got a snake bite one. Yep. And then we got the... The family kit. The family kit, yeah. So, so pretty cool little kit. Very but. exciting. And all you have to do is leave a comment and let us know your favourite part of the video. Yep. This week, the comment comes from Philip Grills. And this is his comment. Not sure why it has taken me so long to sub subscribe to your channel because <laughs> I've been watching your videos for quite a while. But here I am finally. Love well, thank you, Phil. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the platform. Uh, love what you do and how you present it. You guys have such a great outlook on life and know how to make the most out of it. Oh, your wow. current series is bringing back memories of our lap in 2019 of oh. the Ningaloo Coast. Good memories. Thank you, Philip. It's our pleasure, mate. And um, you got to get back there. Get back. Yes. Get back to Ningaloo Coast. Come on. I would also like to point out that this is actually something that we hear quite a lot. A yeah. lot of people watch our videos and forget to subscribe. So by subscribing to the channel, you actually help us out more than you probably think. Yes. So if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe <laughs> and leave us a comment. And give what do you say? I need to subscribe or something? Yeah, that would be great if you could. <laughs> there we go. Thank you again and congratulations. Thanks again, everyone, for all of your comments because, once again, this yep. was not the only one that we did liked. Did you just put your finger in my ear then? Yes, yeah, she did. See, I thought she did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.